I'll bet I can now show you a sound that you have all heard before. A dripping faucet. Now, you know, every house has at least one of these. There's a law somewhere that you can't own a house unless there's at least one faucet that does this, even when you don't want it to. But I want you to notice that the dripping is very regular. It's just like the metronome. But there's something interesting you can do with the dripping faucet, and you can all go home and do this. If you turn it up a little bit so it drips faster, suddenly it's not regular anymore. It's exhibiting chaotic behavior. Now this is something you can all do at home, and I would encourage you to do the following thing. Instead of just adjusting it so that you get periodic behavior and chaotic behavior, look very carefully just at the transition where it stops being periodic and becomes chaotic. In fact, you know, this has been studied a lot. There's even a book called The Dripping Faucet. And it's not a children's book. It's a book for scientists, because there's a lot of good scientists, science in a phenomenon as simple as a dripping faucet.